Hi, this is Katie. I just woke up, obviously. And I don't know if you guys know how good my hair can look right when I wake up. Like, looks like I spent hours on it, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm a morning shower, morning showerer for sure, but I want to lay out on my balcony because um, it's going to be like 78 or something today. And so I want to lay out on my balcony in a couple hours and I don't want to shower and then do that because I'll get sweaty and just have to shower again, which just seems silly. So I'm going to lie out in a couple hours, then I'm going to shower. I have some tidying up to do and I obviously food to eat, but I don't want that to really be this video because that's been a lot of my videos recently. I've been tidying up, organizing, decluttering and cooking. So this one might have a little bit of that in it, but I want it to be more than that. So I am going to lie out, but I can't show you outside either. I Oh, I do want to do some online shopping because Kelsey and I recently, like she helped me go through all my clothes again because I'm going to set up my Poshmark. Maybe I'll do that today too. I want to set up my Poshmark so I can sell some of my clothes to you guys if you are interested. So I went through them again the other day and I realized there were a couple gaps in my wardrobe. I want another pair of shorts or two and a couple tank tops. And essentially I don't really have any like summery clothes. And not that that's a super rush because while it is already summer weather in Charleston, I'm leaving here soon and I'll be in New York when there definitely still is, you know, jeans and t-shirts and sometimes jacket weather sometimes. So having like a full like summer wardrobe kind of thing is not necessary right now. But if I can just get a few things, that would be cool and obviously so many shops are closed down right now and that means especially smaller shops but all shops are really really at risk of losing money everyone right now is at risk of losing money so I'm thinking well I can just do some online shopping right now I'm thinking like two pairs of shorts maybe like three or so like tank tops I really don't have many summer clothes and then um, some like nice springy summer issues like a nice pair of like sandals or something so I'm gonna do that, like today I would have gone to Nordstrom Rack or TJ Maxx or something, can't do that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that online, tidy up. Oh, and you know what, honestly, I'm probably gonna go for a drive today. I've not been in my car in like a really long time. And especially if I don't like stop anywhere where there's a lot of people that I still think that that's safe to do. So I'm gonna go for a drive today um, and maybe like a walk today too or something. So I will get outside a little bit. And so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me through some of this and then let me know in the comments always. First of all, make sure that you're subscribed here and uh, follow me on Instagram as well. Um, but then also I wanna know in the comments, like let me know what you guys are doing. Just cause I'm curious and other people can maybe get ideas. Um, I know my last video was kind of talking a little bit about what we can do during this time, how to still be productive, how to still get outside if you can, stuff like that. Uh, while, you know, and being able to enjoy your time. But anything else that you guys are doing, let me know in the comments cause I am curious. So yeah, all right. I'm going to probably get my day started by starting to clean because it's nine it's nine twelve right now and it's 72 out but it's gonna be 80 in like an hour and a half so i might just wait until it gets a little bit hotter to sit outside because i want to like put my bathing suit on and like sunscreen but then see if i can like get a little color and get a little vitamin d so yay okay um I just can't get over how good my hair looks right now. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a second. Wait, right when I hung up, I checked my phone and I wanted to give you guys another thing that you can do while you're stuck at home. So I don't know if you guys know what, this is not sponsored at all, by the way, but have you heard of Game Pigeon? Game Pigeon essentially allows you to play games with your friend through texts. And so my friend Jason and I right now are playing darts. <laughs> that they have darts, they have pool, they have, shuffleboard they have mini golf they have like a ton of games like that that you can just play through an app on your phone look like darts i mean like and it's fun um and so obviously like because jason and i have gone to play darts at a bar a couple times and like and pool we've played like we've played games like that if you looked at my stories like a week ago he and i were at a place that had giant jenga so we we're playing giant jenga like he and i like to like play games like that when we hang out but since we can't go to places that have those options now we can play game pigeon on our phone i'm sure there's other apps that you can do stuff like that and other websites and stuff but game pigeon just has like fun games like almost like bar games and stuff like that if that's what you enjoy so anyway i'm gonna play this for a couple minutes with jason and then i'm gonna go clean my bathroom it's been said there's a cure for a heavy head heaven forbid it instead i want to make it safe to go to bed Okay, bathroom is basically done. I didn't do the sink yet because 
I have all my products on top of the counter and I don't feel like organizing that right now. So, but like the rest, like I did the floor, the toilet and the tub and uh, that's good for now. I really quickly wanted to show you this new thing that I got because I ordered two things from Sephora the other day and one was this Tower 28 Clear Lip Gloss. I can't tell if I like this yet. Maybe it had really, really good reviews and I weirdly don't have like a shiny clear lip gloss. But the thing that I love, that I've only used a couple times, but I can just tell like, at least by the texture and like first impressions, is this Tarte Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask. I got mine in strawberry jelly. It doesn't smell like strawberry jelly, but it smells like, like fake strawberry, strawberry candy or something. And it has like a little bit of a tint, I think. And it feels so nice. Um, I don't know how long lasting this is. That's the only reason that I'm not giving it like the best review ever is because I don't know if it lasts a long time, but at least like initial application, it feels so nice. Like one of those like thick, like jelly kind of glosses. Um, well, it's a mask, but you know, I just like wanted to tell you guys, um, I got that on Sephora.com. So maybe now I will do a little bit of online shopping. Um, and then uh, P.S. This is not just me being messy. That's all the Poshmark stuff that I'm selling online. Kelsey helped me take pictures and stuff with it um, the other day. And so it's just kind of like sitting there <laughs> in a pile to get ready to post. So, okay, let's, let's do a little online shopping, shall we? Okay, I think, oh, oh, oh. You guys, okay, so I think that we've talked about this a little bit, that I've gained a little bit of weight recently. Have we talked about that? So some of my jeans are the tiniest bit too tight and having clothes that don't fit you is not gonna, well, at least for me, it's probably not gonna make you feel good about yourself and it might even make you like feel chubby or whatever, even if you're not, it's just that maybe you gained a size and you just need clothes that fit you. And so I didn't wanna get all new clothes because my pants still fit. Some of them are just like a, the littlest bit tight. And uh, I, I already have started like eating less and doing stuff like that. So hopefully soon they will just fit regular again instead of like being a little snug. But I just wanted to get like one pair of jeans that fit me now that I don't feel like I'm like spilling out of, you know? Oh, and if you saw these shorts, I also just bought a pair of shorts, but they're both from Target. And I used to shop at Target and then I haven't recently, I can't even think the last time I shopped at Target. I know I got my bathing suit there last year that I'm gonna show you when I change into it in a few minutes, but I just haven't found stuff that I liked at Target recently. So like every once in a while when I'm in the store, I'll peruse, but I haven't found anything. But I found these shorts and I don't like love, love these shorts, but they do fit pretty nice and they were $15. Um, so these are, I think they're Wild Fable and they're just regular shorts and they're not too short, which I like um, because I don't, I'm 33 years old. I don't want like booty shorts, you know? So these are a size six. I feel like in shorts, sometimes, it's just any shorts, because this happened with, with Levi's, I had to size up. But what I was excited to show you, because I, I like the shorts, they're fine. They're, they're more to me like, it's like everyday kind of shorts. But these jeans, these are Wild Fable as well. These are in a size four. They're kind of just like boyfriendy kind of pants, but they're high-waisted and distressed, obviously. These were $22. Most of my jeans are Levi's, which are, depending where you buy them or what sales you get them on, are a little bit more on the pricey side. Um, they're not crazy, but they're not $20, you know? And I like my Levi's because I like how they fit and I like the, the, um, material. <laughs> I like like thicker denim. And so sometimes the cheaper denim is more the stretchy kind of thin material. And I just don't love that as much, but those fit really, really nice. And they were $22 and I needed to show you cause I was really excited. So again, some of my 26 Levi's still fit. Oh, I have a pair of 27 Levi's and they fit, but I just wanted to get one like less expensive pair just for the time being. And they're from Target and I was so excited because I, I just haven't found anything from Target in a while, but I'm sure that they have them online. So like if you want to get these jeans, again, I got a size four and they're called the high rise straight ankle and they're pretty nice if you're looking for like jeans at Target. So, okay, we're gonna shop guys. We're gonna shop. We're gonna shop. This is my sunscreen. My apartment is a mess. <laughs> um, but this is my sunscreen, super goop. And it's a, it's actually kind of like, it's kind of fun. Um, like I feel like this would be good for kids if they don't want to put their sunscreen on. Look, it's foam, which is fun. I mean, I gotta put it on soon anyway. 
I'll reapply, don't worry. Don't worry, we know what happened last time. I think at least, did I tell just Instagram and I did tell you guys too that I was out with my dad a couple weeks ago and I put sunscreen on because I thought we were only gonna be out for like an hour or two, but we ended up staying out for like five hours and I didn't reapply my sunscreen and I had the weirdest, I you can still kind of see it. I got sunburned just right here and then like on my ears and on the top of my head and then two weird little like patches on my arm all got sunburned. Not badly sunburned, but like I went out that night and I remember being like, why is my ear so itchy? Like I, it did not even occur to me. And earlier that night I was like, why is my neck so itchy? And I was like, oh, like whatever. And then I went home and I was like, ducky, <laughs> like you're bright red. But so please remember to not only put your sunscreen on, but reapply it if you're going to be out for more than, I think usually they say 90 minutes, I think. Reapply after 80 minutes of swimming or at least every two hours. Oh, this one's two hours. But okay. Anyway, my computer. I know I'm at my desk, but my computer was on the floor because I used it yesterday on my couch. All right, I think I'm gonna start, I might honestly start looking at Target for another pair of shorts. And then I'm gonna look at Nordstrom Rack and Nordstrom. Um, and a lot of these places are also just because their companies are taking a hit right now. They're also having a lot of like sales um, or free shipping and stuff like that. So I, is anyone with me here? I know Kelsey is, cause we talked about it the other day. I like wearing shorts because it means it's warm out, but I never ever like how shorts look on me. I feel like I see some girls and shorts fit them perfectly. And on me, they just look like, like I'm like a six year old who can't dress myself. Like, I don't know, it's, I don't know. I just feel like I never look good in shorts, but I still wanna have a couple pairs because I mean, it's gonna be warm soon. And so I'm gonna look, and then if I actually like pick anything, I will show you guys somehow. You'll do a little screen capture or just take my camera and do this, but I'm gonna do a little shopping and then I'll show you some stuff that I pick out. Okay, I guess. Okay, Target shopping. These are cute, I might get these. Uh, yeah, I, I also might get these too. Wow, this voiceover is going really, really good. Okay. <laughs> uh, these I don't, I don't like the material of these and they're, those are not high rise, are you kidding me? Those are, but those look like they'd be too short. I'm old, I can't wear short stuff. Those, no, nah, they look all right, they, yeah. Those also look too short, but also, did you guys know that Levi's was at Target sometimes? Um, maybe. Also maybe, like mom shorts. So solid maybe. Okay, my air is on, that's what that noise is. Um, I didn't fully decide on anything yet. Um, as you saw, I did a little like screen sharing stuff. I did see some shorts at Target that I put in my cart. Sometimes I'll, especially if I'm online shopping, which I don't love to do, especially with clothes. Really the only places that I online shop semi-regularly if I have like an address, obviously are Amazon and Sephora, cause Sephora also have two day shipping. But for clothing and stuff, I generally don't online shop very often, unless it's like a brand that I really, like a Levi's I've done it once or twice cause you can get good sales on their website, but I already knew what size I'd be cause I tried them out in the store or whatever. So anyway, I, put a bunch in my cart and I'm gonna go look at it a little bit later and actually decide because I think I put like four or five pairs of shorts in my cart. So I'm gonna decide later on like, you know, two or three pairs or so, but I haven't found anything else yet, but it's about 1045. So I'm going to get my bathing suit and uh, go lie out on my balcony. Cause it's still important guys to like go outside. You know, like the whole social distancing does not mean never ever go outside. It just means go outside where there's no other people. Not in every place. Please pay attention to what your city or what your state or what your country is saying. But at least I know in a lot of places right now, still in America, like it's totally still fine to go for a walk. It's still important to like go outside and not be completely cooped up. So I'm gonna go lay on my balcony for a little bit. I am not someone who likes to just lie out and lounge. I'm also not someone who likes to take baths. Like I don't like that type of, I kind of think that they're hand in hand. Like people who like to like lie out on the beach might also like baths. I, for some reason, I feel like it's kind of like a similar type of relaxation and I just don't feel relaxed when I do those things, but I want to be out in the sun. So I'm gonna lie out anyway and uh, probably blast some music, not blast music, I have neighbors, but like put music on and uh, lie out there for a little bit. So I'm gonna put my bathing suit on and show you my, yeah, I'm, I was thinking if I didn't wanna put it on and show you, but I'll put it on and show you what it is. The top is from Target. I got it last year, so I don't know if they still have it. They might, or at least similar. Um, and then the bottoms are from Nordstrom that I got uh, almost two years ago, like that summer, but I'll tell you the brand. I don't know what they are, but I'll go put those on now and uh, okay, bye. But so this top is from Target. Um, mine is in the size D double D. That's one of the things I really like about Target. This might be TMI for some people, but if you're curious about sizing, 
One of the things I like about Target bathing suit tops, I don't know if it's all of them, but it's at least some, they'll have like extra small through whatever, extra large or whatever of like the, uh, like the regular sizes. But then a lot of them also have a D double D size, which uh, that's the size that fits me because it's like smaller around and still made for a smaller frame, but the cups are bigger. So that's what fits me best. So this is just a like snake print top. And then I do have the matching bottoms, but I'm not wearing those. I'm just wearing these black bottoms that are the brand Becca. These are in size small. I got these at Nordstrom like two years ago. And I love, these are so high-waisted. Like my belly buttons are here. I love how high-waisted these are. So, okay, I'm going to get I have like my quick dry towels. I'm gonna lie one down and then use one as a pillow. I'm gonna grab my phone. Okay, and then I got my face sunscreen, which I'm just trying out this little Super Goop uh, glow screen. That's the face one, and then I have the Super Goop body mousse one. And then I'm bringing my phone and my sunglasses and my blankets. I'm gonna go outside. Not my blankets, my towels. I'm gonna go outside. So David just FaceTimed me like right as I got out here, and I put my sunscreen on and I laid down. And, uh, and he was like, you're gonna get such a weird tan <laughs> with those lines. But I'm like, I won't be out here long enough that that should matter, but it was just really funny. <laughs> like, this is what I look like right now. <laughs> it's so nice out, guys. Oh my goodness, it's so nice out. Hey guys, obviously showered. I changed into, how cute is this? Tiny little cute little shirt, it's so cute. It's like, I mean, it has another layer, but it's just it's so cute. Um, changed, showered. Well, shower changed, put on a little bit more makeup. Um, I'm going to pick up my friend Jason and we are going to go for a drive because I need to go for a drive. And uh, there are a couple people that I trust to be around during this kind of thing. And Kelsey is one of them and Jason is another one. And so I'm just gonna pick him up. We're just gonna go for a drive around town. And um, yeah, so I guess I'll show you a little bit of footage just from like driving around. And then, is that enough for a video? Maybe, I might put on bigger earrings. Maybe I'll do that. Um, but anyway, okay, I'm gonna eat a snack, and then I'm gonna leave, and then I'm gonna hang out with Jason, and drive around, and be in my car. I haven't seen my car, I haven't been in my car. In days, in days. Probably like four or five days, which is a very long time for me. So, cool, I'm excited, okay, bye. You can't get my allowance, we cannot regret. I wake up in cold sweats and I can't get the gist of you on my palette. You were my dream, you the best I see. Now the haze it fades, you don't know what I mean. Take it from me, I'm practically free. But it was worth the run, you have to Ooh, this is perfect lighting. Look at the shadows. It's really, look how horrible the shadows look how are. I'm like basically Yeah, you gone. can't even see you at all. <laughs> so, uh, this is my friend Jason. You can call him JJ. <laughs> Nobody else does. <laughs> I have quite a few times. I know, you're the only one. So we rode around downtown a little bit and now we're at Lewis Barbecue. They're doing curbside pickup if you order online. Or I guess you could order on the phone, I think they said too. But so we just ordered a bunch, well, I don't know how much you ordered, but. I didn't, I ordered enough for like me. Oh, one meal. like one meal? One and done. I it ordered like, like three $14. meals. Oh, is that good or bad? It's not terrible for downtown. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we're downtown. And so I got enough for, I got a pound of meat and a pint of potato salad. Oh. And it was 30 bucks, but that's at least for me like four meals mm. four or five meals true And it's really really good barbecue. So um, we're just parked here now There's a parking lot um, and <laughs> We're just parked wow. here now. I know I've You had it. you better like this barbecue. Yeah, he's never had it. and He's from Nashville Originally and yeah. so he's a little bit of a barbecue snob. Well, you can't even see him. I know I'm like I can't see him at all <laughs> You'll see him later <laughs> but, um I think they can come. Well, I've lived in Alabama and Georgia, so I have pretty high standards. <sighs> now I'm nervous because I like it here, but well, it has to find your face and then stop. To find my face. <laughs> There's like a little square <laughs> that's chasing his face, so he keeps moving. And I, and I don't. It sees you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a little bit. <laughs> this is JJ. Um, but we're gonna get the barbecue <clears throat> and go back to my house <gasps> and play Uno. Can you hold this? I need to yes. find Uno. 
Oh, now we're gonna play Uno. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do that. And um, did my voice just squeak? <clears throat> I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. That's thank you. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna be honest. I'm not gonna say no, yes. That's or no, that's fair. <laughs> Please be honest. Thank you. Is this distracting us from waiting for our food? Yes. We're hungry. Okay, we're sitting on my balcony. Here's all the food I got. And then I'm still wrapped in like 20 different things. <laughs> yeah, I didn't unwrap mine yet. Oh, and it's very wet. Yep. <laughs> this is actually kind of gross. Okay. So that's my brisket, and you got like slabs of brisket. Yeah. And I got the, it's called the chopped brisket, but it's like kind of like cold. And then some pork. Oh, wait. Oh, that, I guess that's the pork, and that's the brisket. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. And then I got potato salad. And then they give you free pickles and pickled onions. I got some of those. A lot of pickles. Like they get, they get a lot of pickles. I know, they do. Yum, 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 yum. All right, we're gonna eat. Okay, JJ's still here. We were watching a movie uh, called The Clapper. It's weird. Which it? is very, yeah, he was about to curse, but he knows he can't. Um, it's very <laughs> weird. Um, but I was like, well, I'm gonna do a little bit of work while we're watching. And so I was gonna do more of the online shopping and like screen capture my screen. And so I just picked up my computer and I was looking at shoes at Nordstrom. <laughs> This is Nordstrom? Yeah, this is Nordstrom. And he, I, we were looking at a pair of shoes, I'll like show you here, that are Stella McCartney and they're $565 and he like freaked out. And then I pointed to another pair of shoes. I'm like, oh, I like those, but I would never get them for like $800. And he's like, $800. And he's just like freaking out about prices. Oh, it hurts me a lot. I mean, I would never spend the that. The $800 but just, one is less stuff the, the one that was the robots but. well there's different brands those are manolo but then there's some nordstrom has some like decent prices for things this but they also have no, no 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 they have some decent prices and then some okay. very high prices so obviously like i might look at the things that are expensive but i would never buy maybe not never but i can't see myself ever buying eight hundred dollar shoes but there you go never say never but i don't think i would <laughs> but so i just generally go through and find the shoes that are you know like hundred dollars or on sale for forty dollars or something they look like and like vince camuto these are 75 to 100 dollars. like they have regular price shoes as well okay i'm gonna go back to shopping and showing you guys uh, a, sc a screen capture because honestly he's a very like i feel like you would be a good guy to go shopping with because i feel like you wouldn't hate it immediately oh um, yeah i feel like you would be okay with it for a little while and you would have an opinion about everything and it'd be really funny yep Maybe, I was gonna say maybe we can go shopping, but we can't do that. I mean, this is what we're gonna do, so. This is as close as it's gonna get. Yeah. I'm gonna be very judgmental on yeah. clothes. Just clothes. He should have been here while I was shopping, doing my <clears throat> little Target shop before, because everything was like $15. Mm. So he would've, my ice maker just. Yeah. He's like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> still making ice. I know you didn't ask, but I'm still here. All right, we're gonna go back to watching this weird movie. Yes. Uh, and well, I'm gonna go back to showing you guys what I'm looking at online. I'm gonna critique. <laughs> okay. Fine. All right. Talk to you guys later. Well, Bye. I will. Bye. I did such a great voiceover earlier, so I figured I'd do another one. Uh, we're at stevemadden.com. I love their slides. And so I was looking to see if maybe they had another pair of those or a pair of sandals. Um, those are the slides I like. Wait, click on them. Katie, click on them. Okay, good. <laughs> I like these slides. I might get them in black or see if they have more of like a nude color. And they had some semi-cool sandals. I'll see, I'll see. And now I'm at Nordstrom. I like this bodysuit. I like the front of it. Not that color, but the black one is pretty cute. And this is cute. I might look for some more Topshop stuff, maybe. That's a Topshop shirt. And then these sandals are so cute by Jeffrey Campbell. I think I might have to get them. And then here's some Tory Burch sandals I was looking at that are so cute, some of them, but expensive. So maybe, 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 maybe everything. Hey guys, so Jason just left. It is 1023 and I am probably going to take my contacts out, take my makeup off and watch TV and go to bed. I generally fall asleep on the couch watching TV, not all the time, but generally. So I guess I did a little bit of shopping. I don't know exactly what I showed you guys, but I hope that I find some good things and then um, maybe when everything gets here, I can do a little haul for you guys. Um, but also, 
just before I go, I want to show you where I got sunburn. I got sunburn on my back, which obviously I can't show you, but it's just like a weird little like squiggle on one side and like a smaller squiggle on one side. It was just like, I obviously didn't completely apply the um, sunscreen in those spots. Like I just missed some spots, but then I also got it. Okay, I don't really know how I can show you with the lighting. Okay, there we go. I also got sunburn right here. This one's a little bit more red because I think I just scratched it, but I guess I just forgot to put sunscreen right here. So guys, when you apply your sunscreen, make sure that you apply it to every part and don't forget weird little parts of your body. Otherwise you will have very weird sunburn like I have. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with me. And make sure that you're subscribed and following me on Instagram as well. And make sure on here you're not only subscribed, that you click the notification bell so you're notified of when I upload. I upload generally three times a week. But that's going to be it. Thanks again for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.